Currently, there are a lot of transducers on the market today, but Butt Kicker really is the only one that makes a simple, one-time purchase bundle that allows you to jump right in without thinking about anything, what amp you're going to use or whatever. So, for the price of $220 and free shipping through UPS, what do you get? Included in the box is a single Butt Kicker Mini Concert, an amp, a remote for the amp, six cable ties, six rubber studs that go into your rig, an RCA and mini Y adapters, a 5 foot male to female RCA cable, a 5 foot male mini 3.5 millimeter to RCA cable, and 10 feet of 14 gauge speaker wire. So setting up this thing is pretty simple. I've put a link down below with the butt kicker manual so you can read it and see how simple it is. When I followed the instructions that came with the sim kit, I was up and running pretty quickly. Now there are two ways you can use the butt kicker when you set it up. Either you connect it to your audio source and have it play back whatever the sound was, or you can connect it to a separate sound card and have a program like SimHub or SimVibe provide physics-based reactions from your sim. I must say using these programs does make a difference. However, I would recommend you use SimHub as it is free. SimVibe provides a lot of different features, however it is $90. If you buy certain other products from their website though, you can get it included with that for free. So maybe then I'll check it out. However, right now I'm using SimHub since it's free and it works pretty good. So how do these butt kickers feel? Well, they feel way stronger than I would have ever imagined. Strong enough that it would make my keyboard and mouse fall off the rig if I had things turned up and shake up my wheel so bad that I could not feel the force feedback. So obviously after I got things tuned in it felt fantastic. Getting to feel the rumble strips, the engine vibrations, the road texture, it really made the rig feel more, more alive and like you were in a real car. Now I must say all of this is realistic feelings. It feels just like it should, which is a vibration. That's all the butt kicker is supposed to simulate is the vibrations. When the road is smooth, you feel the car is gliding on the road, and when the road is bumpy, you can feel the car getting vibrated under your seat, along with the engine vibrations, your gear shifts, or whatever else you tuned in. Same with the rumble strips. Every time you go over one, it just shakes the rig really hard, just like it would in reality. So it really does add a lot of immersion and more realism to your simulator. So is it worth it for the price? Well, for $300 you could probably make your own DIY setup that would probably have stronger transducers. However, you would be looking for parts and some people don't like to do things DIY. So I think the butt kicker sim kit really is reasonably priced at $220. You get an amp, transducer, and all the cabling required along with the detailed instructions. The only thing that is not included were bolts or screws to secure the transducers and you have to crimp or solder the connection from the butt kicker to the amp which is just a $10 part. Now a couple things I did notice. I noticed the amp did get a little hot after a couple minutes of use. It didn't get hotter after that but it was really hot to the touch so I would recommend you put it next to some fans as the passive cooling that it has built in isn't really that good. Another thing to note is that if you want to use this with SimHub or SimVibe, you would need another sound card, either internal or USB. This is important to mention as not all computers like it when you have multiple sound cards that are the same driver. For example, if you have two USB sound cards, unless they're different brands with different drivers, it doesn't usually work. On my computer I could get three, one for the in-game audio, another for my radio, and another for the butt kicker. Or butt kicker. However, I was only able to get this to work when I used three different drivers. The Realtek driver, a USB driver, and another USB driver that were both two different companies. When I tried to connect a fourth one that was another USB sound card, however, it did not work. So I had to run both of my butt kickers through one sound card. Most computers will work fine with two sound cards though, so it shouldn't be a problem. So my conclusion is that this is a solid setup for $220. The product is well packaged, priced, and comes included with everything you would need. I can definitely recommend this. So thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>